Okay, everybody. Uh, Matt here, Big Red Liquors, and I'm actually uh, live streaming this on YouTube at the same time I'm recording my video review of this new bourbon whiskey. This is Old Elk, and uh, I'm really excited about this. This is a distillery out of Colorado, well financed, um, doing some pretty interesting stuff. They've they've hired Greg Metz, who is a lot of people know. Uh, Matt was a master distiller at MGP, and uh, I believe this is a custom one-off recipe uh, that they've done just for this particular company. So why is it cool? It's 51% corn. So it's the lowest uh, minimum that you can get for a bourbon whiskey legally. Uh, and then uh, 30, 35% malted barley, and then the rest of it, 15% rye. So 30 four percent malted barley 15 percent rye and then 51 percent corn so that's pretty unique uh there's a lot of american single malts coming out now the caveat there being that unlike scotch if you're american company and you want to use the term single malt you have to dis you have to age it in new charred oak barrels instead of uh used cooperage the way they do it in scotland and obviously um, a malt or a barley based uh, distillate is going to react with new charred oak in a different way than anything else. Um, typically, it's going to absorb a lot more of those oak, oak overtones. So when you have like 100% malted barley mash aged for two years, uh, say, for example, Stranahan's in new charred oak, um, it's going to have a totally different flavor profile than single malt scotch from Scotland uh, or other places like that. So anyway, I'm going to open this and give it a try. Uh, and, you know, the verdict on Old Elk is, you know, they've waited. This is a minimum of four years old. Their single barrel program is barrel strength, like Four Roses, which I love because you actually get, um, you really get to understand the different, um, what, there's differences between the barrels. So it's not like you're picking all these barrels and then everybody's bringing it down to 120 proof or 80 proof or 90 proof or whatever that may be. This is 115.2 proof barrel strength, old oak single barrel, old elk single barrel. I get like, um, like those gummy colas on the nose a little bit. There's definitely some fresh cut oak notes in there. Sort of a typical vanilla caramel tone to it. Um, I don't know that you would identify right off the bat, oh, they, they're using a larger portion of malted barley, um, which really testifies to the power that the new charred oak barrel has over all bourbon. So you could have lots of different mash bills, which you would think the whiskeys would taste wildly different. Um, but that new charred oak barrel has such an influence on the whiskey that it tends to even all of it out pretty well. All right, let's try it. Mm. Nice spice kick right on the tip of the tongue. The mid palate. You definitely have kind of a, a softer, sort of a dusty, um, that malt. It's very similar to like a, a high weeded whiskey where you get kind of those top grain notes to it a little bit. Uh, finishes with a nice rice spice kick to it. Um, definitely sweet, definitely balanced. Um, this is a complete whiskey. It's got a beginning, a middle and an end. Um, for a new single barrel program from a relatively new distillery uh, to release a four-year-old whiskey with a unique mash bill at barrel strength, I think they're doing all the right things. This is what consumers want. This is what uh, bourbon nerds want. Uh, they want to try something that is new, that has a different flavor profile, not based on finishes, but based on the mash bill, the age, and the proof, the real raw basic elements 
that make bourbon unique and different. And uh, kudos to these guys for doing it right. So that's it. The Old Elk single barrel. Lots of barley. Still a pretty high portion of rye, actually. 15% rye and 51% corn. Barely legal. Old Elk single barrel. Cheers. Mm. 